When York University opened 50 odd years ago, it all looked like that building there. That's the Ross building, a large concrete brutalist heap that looks like something an Egyptian pharaoh might have built several thousand years ago. Today, that's all different. Let me show you how. That was then, but this is now. Randy and I have come up to York University to show you this new building, the Bergeron Center for Engineering Excellence. They call it the cloud, and you can see why this shimmering new building which opened just a couple of months ago was designed by ZAS Architects of Toronto. It's a brilliant addition to this campus and I think it exemplifies what educational architecture in the 21st century is all about. We're going to take a look inside but it's open, it's airy, it's casual, it's welcoming, it's the kind of place that students want to be. Let's take a look. So here we are on the second floor of the new building. This is the design commons, in some ways the heart of the new center. Students call this the sandbox, which indicates that they see it as a very playful kind of a space, but a space to play very intellectual games. These, after all, are engineering students, and they come here to realize their projects, to turn their ideas into reality. I think that this building and the Student Learning Centre at Ryerson are the two new structures that sum up the architecture of education in the 21st century. The ideals now are those of openness and warmth. This is a casual place, a place where students are meant to feel comfortable and where they can work in groups. And if we know anything now about education, it's that people learn best when they learn with others. For the Toronto Star, I'm Christopher Hume.